Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel, DJ Kid. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a project which I've talked about before. The project has only just launched, only had its token generation event yesterday. And um, yeah, guys, that project is Neon Labs. Let's take a look at CoinGecko and see what it's doing. Okay, so you can see Neon, ticker is um, N-E-O-N. And in the last 24 hours, up 27%, trading at roughly 23 cents and um yeah you know it's only pretty much launched as a 2x of the ico price ico price was um was 10 cents so we're currently at 20 well close to 23 cents um the details on coin gecko because obviously the the token is very very new and only um limited on um, a few or trading on a few exchanges at the moment so the total supply i believe for this was a billion and um, yeah, as the data is, um, is still fairly fresh, um, as the project is still fairly fresh, um, there's no data um, populated on CoinGecko at the moment in terms of market cap and so on. So here we can see last 24 hours up 27%, as I was saying. And um, yeah, guys, in terms of the exchanges, currently available on Bybit, Gate, and also CoinList as well, because the ICO did happen on CoinList and you can see some of the trading pairs there but as i was saying guys this was a very very hyped project and um it does um it does a lot um in terms of bridging between solana and ethereum and um we'll take a look at the website in just a moment or so but um yeah as i was saying very hyped project currently trading at 23 cents so from my perspective pretty much a a good purchase at the moment but obviously nothing that i say is financial advice um so yeah guys um that's pretty much the the um price as it stands at today let's take a look at the website and take a look at what the project is delivering and offering okay so neon labs contributing to the development of neon evm so neon labs is the company neon evm is the product builders of the first ethereum virtual machine with solana scalability and liquidity so neon labs is a company that is building a bridge between the Ethereum and Solana blockchain. And um, the main product, as I was just saying, is Neon EVM, which is a um, Ethereum virtual machine that runs on Solana. So what that allows is, um, is for Ethereum dApps to be deployed on Solana, taking advantage of Solana's scalability and low transaction costs. And obviously we all know Solana is a, is a great blockchain, which literally, um, yeah, which literally works in every aspect of a blockchain. So it has low fees, um, a high throughput in terms of TPS, and um, yeah, you know, it seems to seems to be delivering and able to be very scalable and 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 manage um, a lot of transactions running through the blockchain. So yeah, and now having the capability of um, of allowing Ethereum DApps to be easily migrated and deployed on Solana is a very very um, um, great. Uh, project in my perspective so yeah so in terms of neon evm so what it could do is help to bring more ethereum dApps to solana and it could um, also help to make solana a lot more accessible um, to ethereum developers as well so a lot of plus points there and if we scroll down the website so about neon evm obviously you can see um, what it has to offer obviously do your own research as well so meet the team the goal of Neon Labs is to bring both the scalability and low transaction costs of Solana to the ecosystem of Ethereum, dApps, developers, and end users. Um, and here you can see the team is fully doxxed and you can do your research on the team members working with us and so on. So yeah, guys, take a look at the website, see what it has to offer. And here you can also do, um, you know, click on this button here, learn more about Neon EVM. And if you just click on that there, let's load this up and see what it has to offer. So grow with the best from two chains. So obviously two of the best chains here. And you can see high throughput, um, great TPS there, average gas fees, very low on Solana. And you've got that kind of link to Ethereum. Um, some of the projects are ready on the ecosystem. Covalent, Pools Finance, The Graph, and the list goes on. Obviously, you can take a look at the website and, and do your own research as well. And also, you can see a nice little demonstration here of how this is working with Neon EVM in the middle. 
between the two blockchains um, and the benefits that you get from using the Solana blockchain as well in terms of the low fees, high speeds, um, user base, liquidity and, and the rest of it as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good from my point of view. So in terms of some, um, I know I did touch on some of the key features, but just to reiterate some of them as well. So um, some of the key features of Neon EVM is that it's a fully EVM compatible implementation, which means that Ethereum dApps can be deployed on Solana without any changes to the code. So that's a huge benefit in terms of, you know, the Ethereum developers, the Solana developers, and just that migration of dApps um, coming over um, and using the um, the benefits of what Solana blockchain has to offer. So it's very um, scalable. Um, it has the ability to process thousands of transactions per second, which is a huge plus point. Low transaction costs, making it um, a very cost effective way to deploy dApps as well. So yeah, great from a, you know, from a user base perspective. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty much everything that you, so you get the benefits of everything that Solana has to offer from a blockchain, which pretty much is complete from all aspects. So in my opinion, you know, this project is a great project, pretty good buy as it stands at the moment, 22 cents, as I was saying, only literally like a 2x from the um, from the ICO price. And generally, you know, a project like this, if it was launching in a in a um, in a better market, um, as as I should say, in a um, in a more bullish market, um, you know, this this easily could have been one of those hundred x projects. But yeah, so um, guys, obviously, do your own research as well. Take a look at the Twitter here, and we can just follow through some of the um, some of the notifications that have been put out. So we can see, um, obviously, it's been announced. So upcoming listing on Neon of Neon is on Bybit. And I kind of touched on the exchanges that it's listed on at the moment. Um, save the dates. Just some other bits and bobs going on here. Um, existing user reward. So all of this was, um, it looks like it was before the kind of token generation event. And just the hype in um, in building it up to um, launching the project and tokens. If I just pop back to the um, to the website here and scroll down. So this is pretty good to see. Um, it's um, they have a neon roadmap, so it's always good to see a roadmap for a project. Obviously, um, lists out key deliverables and um, just if the team are on track to um, deliver those key deliverables as well which it looks like they are. So you can see two ticks there, um, Q2 2023, some of the um, key areas that they are going to be delivering on. And then um, the list goes on from that point onwards. So yeah, it looks pretty good from my point of view. As I was saying, guys, currently trading at close to 23 cents, um, only listed on, um, so it's only got two exchanges here, Bybit and Gate, but I know it's listed on CoinList as well. But in my honest opinion, this is probably going to get listed on some, you know, top tier, very um, good exchanges. There's no reason why Binance wouldn't list something like this or even Coin Coinbase as well. And um, yeah, um, massively hyped project. Looks good from my point of view. Um, but as I said, guys, this is purely my opinion. Still early days for Neon as well. So um, yeah, do your own research if you do look to invest. But hit me up on the comments below. Let me know what you think about the project. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.